The cobbled streets of Sirencester, a picturesque Cotswold town. A second day of wonderful company, we really cannot frown. The cold hard walls tell us of many tales, of an abandoned prison, the hard times it travails. To the courtroom light, Johnny Depp's dock, Ricky may be heading for the chopping block. So if you wish, come join our story of our exploration down south in Ethel, our pride and glory. Of Ethel. We are all packed up now, ready to go. We've got up, we've had a shower, we've had breakfast. You all ready? Yeah. Are you all buttoned down? Yeah, let's go. Where are you taking us? Uh, uh, well, maybe the old prison. Go to the old prison. Um, can we follow you? Yeah. Do you know where you're going? All right, okay. Good to go. Yay. here outside of the old prison and it looks absolutely fantastic it's such a brilliant built building from the outside and I'm really excited to go in and have a wander around uh, car parking's free um, and it's just an absolutely magnificent piece of architecture at the minute are you still not excited no uh, and it's dog friendly so that is double bonus for us although I appear to have dumped my dog on Ricky We are just having a walk around the sort of prison yard now and uh, in, in all the way around edge they've got these barns all these old like carts of yeah it's just really like real actually to think this is how they used to do things you know like we take we take as engines for granted now don't we but bloody are very hard work <laughs> God, not being robbed again, not in a prison. <laughs> Built in the 1970s and situated between North Leach and Burton on the Water, the prison was a fine example of a model prison and used to inspire care and rehabilitation. It was designed and worked so well that many prisons were modelled on it, including London's Pentonville Prison. Only open as a prison for 67 years, the prison has been utilised for many a reason over the years, including a police station, a homeless shelter and today a cafe and tourist attraction. A huge array of forming tools and wagons are housed at the old prison and are part of the Lloyd Baker collection. These are displayed with minimal restrictions and can be enjoyed by all visitors completely free of charge. Hi, I'm Leanne, this is Beth, and this is here. Welcome to the Travels of Ethel, and here's our new look for it. <laughs> so we've just found a horseshoe. We're thinking about taking it and hanging it up in Ethel just to see if we uh, make it another six months without any more issues. to a time when prison were put in prison. Um, I cannot imagine what it was like to be locked in one of these rooms for, I don't know, 23 hours a day, let's say, for argument's sake. And nothing but this brick wall for company. You were just saying, like, you think prison's in that stroke, but they want to stop in Ethel for the night. This is a land luxury. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> now feeling a bit concerned that off, um, Oliver seems to feel quite at home in a prison cell. <laughs>
What did you do? Well, well, once I stole a penny swede, and this is where he ended up. I'm really sorry, guys. I just had such a sugar craving. Let me on. As if living in prison wouldn't be bad enough, and then you look up in corner and now that is torture. Although most of the original buildings are no longer there to see, the female cell box, courtroom and mill buildings can still be explored to this day. Don't touch the table. Yeah. Might be a bit late for that one. <laughs> Ricky, would you like a coffee here? Um, if I'm being forced into it, I'm not going to complain. Am I being forced? You are being forced. Go on then. <laughs> Again. Beth is now making excuses for why she puts the tea in, I mean the tea in first and then the milk. I mean we are in a prison, I do think that that is a criminal <laughs> offence. Guilty. I'm guilty, but I'm not even sorry about it. <laughs> We've just finished at the old prison and had a lovely walk round and a coffee and now the rest of the day is in these two guys' hands. Here we are in Siren Sester. Ricky's just nearly fell over. And we are gonna have a good walk round and grab some lunch. A bit of shopping as well. We maybe. have two guides. <laughs> So I just find a church and have to go in, so this is going to be the quickest tour in the world. A magnificent building towering over the streets of Sirencester, with the gazing eyes of gorgoys that linger amongst the towers and arches of the religious building of St John's Baptist Church. Stepping through the grand entrance, this is a sight not to be missed when in the area. One of the largest parish churches in England, it has been a significant building of worship for well over a thousand years. The structure and style of the building hold the history of its beginnings and developments into the giant of a structure admired today nestled within the streets and busy walkways that lay in the shadows below the church's glory. The chancel is the oldest part of the church, started around 1115 and over the years that has followed many structures have been added and altered leaving a story along the way of the church's growth and grandeur. We are currently walking around Sirenchester, Sirenchester, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It's an absolutely beautiful town. It's got the Cotswolds written all over it actually. It feels really like upmarket and quite quaint, the little streets here, there and everywhere. We've just been in church, which absolutely stunning. I mean, we love a church. So yeah, we're just having a wander around now. Um, it's, it's Sunday, so a lot's closing, but it's, it's just beautiful. So yeah, really enjoying this, we're a right good shower. We're just walking down the cute little, what are they, little alleyways, little streets? Yeah, they're online but little quaint, like local feeling shops. Um, it's really, really pretty in here. 
I'm yet to look inside a window because all I do keep doing is looking at all the buildings. Yeah, Some of the architecture here is amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, everything's got a real idea on it, 100 years plus. It's absolutely stunning. It really is. We're just walking through the town now, and I've just spotted out at the corner of my eye this absolutely enormous doorway that doesn't seem to lead anywhere whatsoever. No idea what that could be for. I've just had to walk down. Everyone else has gone the other way, but I thought I'm going to have to come and have a look at that. If you've been to Cotswolds and you know what this doorway is, leave us a comment, let us know, because I am absolutely miffed by that. Quite interesting.